Off the top of 530, it's that time of the year when those fall color pops up across Michigan. In Grand Haven, though, there is concern over losing some trees in coming years. Meteorologist Sarah Flynn joins us now to take a closer look at a project that could help. Sarah. Brian and Michelle, two professors at Grand Valley State University have teamed up with the city of Grand Haven to protect trees. In order for the project to continue, they need help from the community. Michigan, known for its beautiful trees and fall colors, but a danger is looming within the wind. Like when we were in um, lockdown through the pandemic, where did people go? They went to the trees. That's exactly what Larry Burns and his son Nathan did. During their walks at Duncan Woods in Grand Haven, they noticed some trees had metal tags. Turns out Grand Valley State Professor Allie Loker was behind it. We have tagged and treated all of the hemlocks with an uh, insecticide called imidacloprid, and it's not a cure. All it did was buy us some time to try to figure this out. Buy some time, which allowed Loker and dozens of students to research Duncan Woods, Mulligan's Hollow, and Lake Forest Cemetery. They found invasive species that transmit by bugs, wind, or from roots touching were looming within hemlock, beech, and oak trees. The diseased trees can die within years. We're going to draw a circle around that sick tree, and we're going to inject these trees around it with this fungicide which will not prevent the fungicide from coming into the tree, but it will prevent it from killing the tree. Today, the project is well underway, but the fungicide may not be enough to save the forest. Without these trees... Eastern hemlocks are up and down the whole lakeshore in these dune systems, and really they're keystone species, which means they provide unique habitat for certain species. We could see situations where it goes from forest to not forest. Funding has been another roadblock, but Burns came up with a way to get the community involved. It'd be adopt a hemlock, and you'd actually be able to come out and take a picture, meet your tree. It'd be like the real deal. Adopting a tree is just one way the public can help. If we can get people educated on how best to maintain their trees, what trees to maintain, uh, that alone takes a lot of weight off of at least the, the urban forest system. Reduce our carbon footprint, or buy local, or stop using so much plastic, or um, stop carving into trees, just recognizing their value. The goal of the project is to ultimately reduce spread and save trees for future generations. Loker is committed to making this a reality in the coming years. I mean, look, it's beautiful. Ideally, we would like to maintain this for generations to come. If you are interested in adopting a tree to help fund the project, you can find a link right now at woodtv.com. Brian and Michelle.